Hi and welcome to the podcast today with your host Miriam Khan. And with me today, I have Claire Bosk with me. Woohoo! Claire Woo-hoo! is another amazing, <laughs> remarkable author, but there's more to Claire than that. Claire, let's give a bit of an introduction and give a bit of introduction to your background. Yes. Hello, everybody. How super cool to be here with you. Um, and so um, I am French originally. You may not know by the accent. So only when I start drinking a bit too much red wine, the French accent comes out. But <laughs> French originally, I kind of travel quite a bit um, being in a hospitality industry. I worked in Disney World in Florida, I worked in England, I worked in France, I worked a little bit everywhere. And then I settled down in Jersey, which is a little island between France and England um, for 22 years. So I've been in England for that long. um, And then I had a, I used to run hotels for a while. And then I kind of got divorced um, 14 years ago. So I I set them on business doing mystery shopping. Ah, I love doing mystery shopping. Have you? were you doing the mystery shopping or were you involved in the actual like viewpoint of that? Which so I, it was my own company. So I oh. set up a company who was helping businesses do it. Well, we were delivering the mystery shopping. And then as a consultant, I could then pick up the results and help the organization looking at, you know, what they did well and what they could improve on. And okay. and that's kind of where it brought me with, you know, the whole customer experience side of it, the whole employees engagement side of it, and and the more strategic kind of things that I, I do um, with businesses now. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, it's really nice to see all the different background to different things that we all do. And sometimes we don't know, do we, um, all the different things that people have got going on in the background. And it's interesting, all these different experiences you've had and different connections that you've had. And then somehow you've ended up being an author in this particular book, which is called She's Remarkable. Um, Claire, how did you get involved in that particular book? Well, funny enough, um, it's been probably over a year now. I came to Dubai it was over a year now. I came to Dubai to do a keynote presentation uh, because I'm a keynote speaker. And so I came to do uh, to talk about customer experience to the retail congress here. Um, and I came to Dubai for the first time and I just went, Oh, yeah, so you can't actually see my you face see because it's an audio <laughs> podcast. But basically, I've got my mouth open, the, I'm dribbling everywhere, my yeah. eyes are popping out of my head. And that's kind of how you can visualize, you know, how I felt when I arrived in Dubai. Yeah. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I just love this city. This yeah. is just incredible. Yeah. Um, so I then started thinking, I'm going to be moving to Dubai. I'm going to be moving to Dubai. Um, so and. As you do, you know, you start looking at different things and different places. I'm quite active on LinkedIn. Uh, So I noticed uh, this little lady called Sahana, who is the founder of Mina Speakers, which I've been following for quite a while, being a speaker. Um, And I saw that post about, you know, uh, bringing incredible women, amazing women together and telling their stories. And I just went, wow. She's talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> and that was kind of the beginning of this kind of relationships and meeting all of you ladies. And, yeah. you know, it, it's been quite a journey because since I have moved to Dubai. Yeah. So <laughs> we are you now. You your story and now you're actually in the hub, aren't you? You're living your dream. And you made it very this, cool. this was it. Yeah, this was it. So, yes, very exciting. And, and looking back at, and just telling you that story, it's, it's really quite incredible, really. Yeah. Some people would be very afraid of moving countries. I know that when I start traveling, people were saying to me, you're stupid, you're silly. Why are you leaving your home country of England and going abroad and traveling? You, you know, you'll be back. And I haven't. You've done probably a similar thing where you haven't looked back, you've gone forward. And have you found that people were very, it's their fears, you know, that are holding them back, that they try and relate it onto you? Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure it's, it's out of love as, as well. You know, sure. they, they care for you and they want the best for you. Um, I think being on, on, in Jersey for 22 years, it's a long time. Um, my children were 20, are oh, 21 and 25 now. Um, and they're doing their own things. Yes. And, 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 and I had itchy feet. I really had itchy feet, Miriam. I think it was time. I'm turning 50 in a couple of months as well. And so I'm, I'm having all those kind of things coming through my my head, my body in, in terms of, you know, if I don't do it now, you know, whoa, whoa, I'll never do it. <laughs> it's, kind of time to, it's time to live, time to see the world. Tick things off your bucket list, isn't it? What does people say? And, and you're, you're the type of person, Claire, from when I met you at the book launch, you know, we met, um, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, we met at the book launch and I could already tell that I was going to click with her. She, in fact, she was the first person I came across as I was walking into the, and I was like, hey, it's Claire, because I recognised you. And we we connected and I could tell from when we'd had inter interactions in regards to the book and various other things that were happening in the background, I could tell you and I were just going to gel. We had a similar like personality and wavelength, you know, we, you could just tell. I'm glad, I am glad you're living your dream and you're making it happen because not everybody does that. You know, not everybody does that. So well done to you. That's thank it. you, thank you. I think sometimes as well, you've got to fear the fear and, and do it anyway. Yes. Um, because, you know, then imagine the regret that you have not doing it. Yeah. And that's probably worse than doing it and... If it's not working, you'll try something else, yeah. you know. And I think that's that's also a bit of a a, a faith, you know. During when when you read the, my chapter, it, it's all about what happened yes. pre-pandemic, yeah. and one of the things that uh, one of the real very strong and very terrible things that I realized is I had, I had lost faith, mm. faith in myself faith in, 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 in life, faith in, in, in everything. And suddenly I woke up and thought, how, how this is, you know, I'd lost faith. This is kind of incredible. And, and when you suddenly realize that you have that, that was a bit of a moment as well, when you really think, you know, no, you know, faith is always there. Faith, you know, we're here, you know, we're here for a purpose. We're here for doing things. We need to live the life that we want. Doesn't matter where, where, which country, wherever you are, you know, have faith that everything's going to turn out the way it should be. Your chapter is beautifully titled, you know, uh, Do or Die. And it's on page 40. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, in the bio, we're going to have the details in there. When I was reading your, your, your chapter, and I don't want to do too many spoilers or teasers, you know, but it was very James Bondy, the title, to me, all right? And I was thinking, like, she's doing, like, a James Bond Mission Impossible or Mission Possible with the do or die. So what made you come up with this particular title for your, for your particular chapter? It was actually, it wasn't actually James Bond. It's a song from... I can't remember her name now. There's a song called I Am a Champion. Oh, okay. See that song, which one her name is? I can't forget. It's going to come back to me. Back to and um, I forgot her name. Um, and whilst I was getting back on the... The, the horse, if, yeah. if, if we can say that. Yeah. I was walking through, I was walking every day and I had that song bursting out in my ear yeah. about I am a champion, I can, I will do or die. And it, it was just like anchored in me, this is what I need to do. And that was one of the, the one of the sentences that, you know, really kind of struck a chord, literally. <laughs> I could see myself on the beach really shouting this song out loud because it was really, it's so powerful. It just gets you, you know, into it. And then that really helped me through the, those those moments to, to push me back to the next level. Had you written before, Claire? Was this your first time you've been published? Um, no, so I have written um, four of my own books. Wow, um, you kept that and then, quiet. 
<laughs> Four of my own books, yeah, yeah, yeah. My full books and then three other um, collaborative books. Books. Wow, okay. So um, obviously we will add those details in your bio so that people can have a look. Um, did you self-publish those, Claire? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I went for the self-published thing because... Um, thing. I think first, the first book, it was very much, there was a, a big complex, so how do you call that, syndrome of, uh, <laughs> of no one's going to buy my book anyway, so I may as well just publish it, no one's going to buy it. Um, or why would somebody publish me as, as such? Yeah. Um, you know, a bit of an imposter syndrome there. Um, and then actually, once I've published it, and it, it just... <laughs> <laughs> it went so well and I thought wow you know what I didn't have to actually wait for anybody to tell me I was no. good enough or not no. I just went and did it yeah. and yeah. so four book later the first book took me three years to write and publish and the last book took me eight weeks wow okay so lots of lessons learned through lots. through the years lots but you know what, each each of those things that you go through, um, writing books, I, I mean, I've been on this journey, I think I said this to you before, I self-published as well. And, it, and it's not an easy journey to do first, because you're right, you doubt yourself. And mm. you are your own worst critic and your own worst enemy. And then also when you're writing it and you're thinking, I can't publish that, I can't put that out there. Did, and all these little like fear modes come in. And then actually, once you've, once you've done it, that labour of love, and you published it, it. You're actually quite proud when you actually see the book. Similar to the similar to what we've done together, you know, like when we uh. when we've done this one, the she is remarkable one, you know, we we worked as a team. This was the first time I'd worked with a group, and for me, I don't know about you, it was so beautiful to meet like-minded uh, females and all on the similar path. As I've been doing all these different podcasts, you, Claire, have been doing little mini videos as well, haven't you? That people come yes. up. So what, what, what was your reasoning to do that? Because um, on the night of, just to give you a back, bit of background, ladies and gentlemen, on the night of the actual book launch, this wise woman decided to kidnap. And when I say kidnap, I mean inverted commas kidnap. She decided to kidnap us all individually and she basically ushered us into the room. And you obviously interviewed, you used the time productively, you know, instead of mingling and whatever, you did use that time to sit as a side and do your whole show hostess side, which I loved. I thought I was on a, a little cat, you know, a little chat show. It was really beautiful. So what made you come up with that idea? And are we going to see more of that from you, do you think? So absolutely. So every week I've been posting, uh, probably at the weekend on sa on a Saturday or Sunday, I've been streaming them on social media. So go ahead and, and check out either YouTube or, you know, I'm kind of tagging uh, all the authors. Um, and I think the idea was to continue that journey, like you with the podcast, um, to continue that journey because we do the launch and uh, you've got that bubbling uh, energy around it and everybody's really excited about it. And then, you know, kind of a few weeks later, it's kind of, oh, it feels is that out. it? So, yeah. you know, you and I just, you doing the podcast and me doing those little videos, that means that we can continue talking about it, continue sharing some love, continue showing yes. those remarkable ladies and those right. remarkable yeah. stories because every single one of them are so different and yeah. you know you get boo you get boo goosebumps just reading them and reading those stories and in a way i felt really humble because oh. reading some other stories i'm thinking well yeah. my story i felt very very little compared to some of the other stories so it, it was it was really humbling to be part of this group really yeah it's been beautiful and you're right, the, the women that we've uh, met through Men of Speakers and, you know, we, we're very honoured to have that link and connection to those other other uh, people because without that, I wouldn't have met these people. Mm. Of course, I mean, both of us are in different fields, right? And we do meet different types of people. But in this particular book, it just is quite quirky how we've met quite a lot of people that have got humble beginnings and they are helping the, the community, they're helping the environment. They're helping people in education, nursing, medical, from from the heart, from the soul. Some quite a lot of doing charity work, you know, and so on. And it's really beautiful to see all these different aspects of life that they're offering and all the different skills that they're intermingling. You're right. 
And mm -hmm. you and I are in a very lucky, fortunate position that we get to chat a little bit more with them through our different platforms. And we're yeah. also, you know, expressing all the different skills and sharing it with the world, which I think is even nicer, you know, because hopefully some of those individuals get more leads, they get more business, they get, we're helping them and helping each other. That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, and I think, again, when we were thinking about the, the book and how to promote it, yeah. There was also that there's a there's a strong message, and as a as a public speaker, as a motivation speaker, this is for me. This this is a message. Being on stage and being able to share a story is 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 the message. Is an inspiration. Is something that I want to trigger people with yeah. something, Correct. you know. And being able to tell a true story, it's even more that you connect on that emotional level with people when you start this and so the book was also for me to be able to tell a story and 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 inspire people and use them to think well if me little claire managed to do this you can do it as well you know and now that's kind of you know behind it all it's all it's all about you know how can we help other people maybe don't fall into those pitfalls that we fell into yeah. um, and live better, happier, healthier uh, lives, you know, by, you know, learning some of the lessons with that, not the hard way. Correct. Sometimes we have to go through the hard way to learn the lessons we're supposed to learn. And it's unfortunate, but it is. It's part of that path um, because you end up helping others along the way, whether, whether you do or not. Look up, look at what you're mm. doing now. Um, there's nothing wrong with you turning 50. I think it's a glorious age to be in. I've got five more years to catch up with you. Um, but <laughs> I look at it as a new adventure that you've started, you know, and, it, and it'll be the best couple of years you're now living um, for yourself, you know, and you, I'm sure your children are very proud of your and big milestones and big achievements. And they've got somewhere warm and sunny to come to for holidays, haven't they? I know, right? <laughs> Mom's best holiday ever. <laughs> That's what people don't realise. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, instead of being them going leaving for university, it's me who's left for the university. Correct. That's that's all. <laughs> correct, correct. What, just before we go and before we you know finish up, what sort of um, words of advice would you give to um, people wanting to read your chapter, wanting to read your book, what other things would you leave as a leaving message? Um, just, yeah, it's just do or die. <laughs> I think it says it all. <laughs> she doesn't mean do it literally. or die. She doesn't mean it literally. In order, to, <laughs> in order to know more, as we've said, we'll put the details in the biography. And obviously, Claire's chapter, just to remind you again, is on page 40. Claire does lots and lots of different things. She has many, many different hats. I will put all her details in the, the, you know, in the bio because if you want to book her as a speaker, if you want to know more about the different types of business she can perhaps support and help you with, I'm sure Claire, you know, wouldn't mind you getting in touch, would you, Claire? Absolutely, wouldn't. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so <Jeez>. just find, <laughs> literally, <laughs> just find Jeez. what's the best way to connect with, with me. And then, you know, you'll, I, I'd be very happy to, to chat to anybody, uh, message or whatever, or have a quick Zoom call or a quick chat over, you know, um, virtually. Awesome. Claire, it has been brilliant having you on the show. I'm sure Thank we're you. going to touch base again about other topics because there's there's a you know a big melting pot of things that you do, but we've loved having you on Raise Your Vibes. Thank you for being here, Claire. Goodbye, folks. This has been Miriam and Claire. Claire. Claire's waving at me. She's forgetting bye -bye. to say bye bye. <laughs>